Welcome to the Manders Mindset Podcast. Here you'll find both monologue and interviews of entrepreneurs, coaches, healers, and a variety of other people, where your host, Amanda Russo, will discuss her own mindset and perspective and her guest mindset and perspective on the world around us. Manders and her guests will help explain to you how shifting your mindset will shift your life. Hello, beautiful souls. Welcome back to another episode of Nando's Mindset, where we explore the power of shifting your mindset to shift your life. I'm your host, Amanda Russo, and today I'm diving into a topic that's very close to my heart, listening to your intuition. I hope it doesn't take you a lifetime to listen to your intuition. Today, I want to share three powerful practices that can help you connect with your inner voice. These are simple, yet profound methods that you can incorporate into your daily routine and can do pretty easily as well. The first one is the power of breath work. Our breath is an incredible tool for calming our minds and tapping into our inner wisdom. When you focus on your breath, you create space for your intuition to speak. You allow there to be room for you to to take a break, to take a breath. Breathwork doesn't have to be complicated. Even a few deep breaths can help you center yourself and hear what your intuition is trying to tell you. In our busy, noisy world, taking a moment to just breathe can be a huge act of self-care. The world is constantly demanding our attention, whether it's our kids, our jobs, our spouse, all of these long to-do lists that we have. And it's constantly making it even more difficult to hear our inner voice. By becoming quiet and focusing on our breath, we can tune out the noise and tune into our intuition. Next up is spending time in nature. There's something incredibly grounding about being in nature, surrounded by the natural world. Nature has a way of quieting the noise in our minds and allowing our true selves to emerge. Whether it's a walk in the park, a hike, or simply sitting outside, being in nature calms you and clears your mind in a different way. The world is noisy and our minds are often cluttered with thoughts and worries, distractions, all these to-dos. But when we step into nature, we can leave the noise behind. And I personally highly recommend going into nature without your electronics, without your cell phone, and really connecting and tuning in to your inner voice. If you're somebody like me who gets lost, shut your phone off when you're in nature. And then you can turn it back on and find your way out. But the rustling of the leaves, the birds chirping, the breeze, the air, they all have a way of bringing us back into the present current moment. Because we are quiet. In these quiet moments, we can hear our intuition more clearly. Lastly, let's talk about body awareness. Our bodies are incredibly, incredibly intuitive. They often know what's right for us before our minds do. Paying attention to the physical sensations can give us valuable insights. The next time you're faced with a decision, take a moment to notice. How does your body feel? Are you tense? Are you relaxed? Does something feel off? Does something feel right and you just can't explain why? Your body is your ally in navigating life. And we need to trust those signals. Our body is something that is with us no matter what, no matter where we go. We always have our physical body and we can tune in to that awareness. How are your hands? Are you jittery at all? Are you calm? How's your chest? How's your heart rate? Your body will give you signals. But if you are not quiet, you can't hear the signals that your body is giving you. It's so easy to ignore our body signals in the busyness of daily life. We often push through discomfort or fatigue and dismiss these little signals that something might not be right. But our bodies are constantly communicating with us. Sometimes it's in subtle ways. 
offering us guidance and wisdom. By becoming quiet, we can really tap into a deeper level of intuition. Because if we are constantly hearing noise, whether it's from a screen, from other people, from whatever, we are not hearing what our inner voice is trying to tell us because there is other noise we are hearing. So to recap, the three practices that can help you connect to your intuition are breath work, getting out in nature, and listening to your body. These simple yet powerful techniques can bring you closer to your inner wisdom and help you live a more aligned life. And these practices can be done essentially anywhere, and they're free for you to utilize them. You can tap into the power of your breath, you can get out in nature, and you can tune in and listen to your body no matter where you physically are. Okay, you might not have nature everywhere, but you can tune into these three practices and start making them a habit within your daily life right now. They are available to all of us wherever we are in the world and completely accessible as well. Something I personally have struggled with a lot was the difference between intuition and my fear of the unknown. If you're curious about the difference between these two, I recently posted a reel on my Instagram that dives into this topic. You can find it at The Breathing Goddess on Instagram. And thank you guys for joining me today. In case no one told you today, I'm proud of you. I'm booting for you. And you got this. As always, if you enjoyed the show, I would really appreciate it if you would leave me a five-star rating, leave a review, and share it with anyone you think would benefit from this. And don't forget, you are only one mindset shift away from shifting your life. Thanks, guys. Until next time.